Mr. Law, you want to answer that question? But, okay, there's been an issue, and uh, people are talking about why you are not at home go ease, you know, uh, after the last election and all that. I would like to explain uh, the thought of the party. After the last election, uh, G2011, when we uh, won the Arjuni GRC, the Workers' Party is a small party with limited resources. So I decided that the priority then should be on Arjuni GRC. So I decided that we should put all the party resources to look after Arjuni, sue up the grassroots in Arjuni GRC, assist the MPs uh, in serving the residents. So I decided and recommended to the party that we cease all ground activities at the constituency we contested. And the party agrees. So we concentrate more on the Arjuni GRC management serving the residents. The initial plan was that perhaps you know we give ourselves one year to stabilize the management of the GRC and serving the people, and we shall resume ground activities in other constituencies that the Workers' Party contested sometime in uh, mid uh, 2012 last year. But you know we had outcome-wide election. <laughs> um, so we have decided anyway to resume all the ground activities by January this year. And that explains why we're not. But having said that, our normal party activities like sales of hammer uh, were carried out and, uh, as usual. Yeah. And now uh, we sell hammers around, uh, you know, uh, Aogang area and you know, Pongo East area. And as you know, Riverview uh, Plaza was under renovation, so I think it's not very conducive for us to sell them. But by selling around the Aogang area, Coburn and all that, we have met many Pongo East residents who frequent the markets, the hawker centers and all that. So, uh, Pongo East resident, residents are not unfamiliar with us. And Lydia used to go and sell hammer with us. Then, I've seen myself, there are many Pongo residents who met her, went up to her, greeted her, and you know, uh, say how is she and all that. And as you know, uh, she was uh, deployed to assist uh, Pitam Singh at UNOS. And she played an important role there. And this is how we manage and explain why. Uh, we were not at Pongo East since the last election. When was the decision to do the um, Union Bank? Was it yesterday or on Saturday? I think it has been announced uh, made on Saturday. Yeah. Any other questions? Um, mm -hmm. Mr. Lawrence, I just ask, what message is the Whitby trying to send by building the media who contested the Pongo East previously instead of just the MP? Let's repeat. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we have not talked a particular message, but from if uh, the public would observe the Workers' Party behaviour from G 2011 to outcome by election, Hill Pongo is, you would see that the Workers' Party is a serious party. We consider very seriously who to view, what, uh, need who to view, uh, and uh, the quality of the candidate. Uh, that explains why many people think that perhaps, uh, you know, uh, we should build NCMP, you know, because anyway, they have advantage, you, they don't elect to go back to the NCMP again. Uh, and of course, we look for consistencies, track record in the party, and also from what we understand and know the person. We want to make sure that our candidates, when they are elected, they are prepared to work and they can connect to the people and not just go to parliament and uh, talk. But you have to do your work on the ground. You have to run the town council and you have to really go to the ground, solve people's problems when you are elected. That is why we are very careful in who we view and what we consider, we consider uh, a lot of factors. Any other questions? Someone who hasn't asked before, perhaps? Um, oh, okay. I think as we've said earlier, uh, we were focused on our own campaign, so uh, that, that's what we focused on, yeah.